Today, we are going to be letting strangers choose what we eat by ordering whatever the person in front of us orders. He looks sophisticated, James. This guy probably gets a hot coffee to an exact temperature, like my mom. He probably owns like a business and he's just getting Oh my God, like... we would have to get all the drinks. If he's ordering for the entire office. Yeah, well <laughs> technically we're a small business too, so. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get whatever the person in front of us had. Oh, did he get a lot? All right, let's oh, do it. That guy had a big beard manly appearance. <laughs> yeah. We got two, two pink, pink drinks. drinks. It's kind of messed no up coffee. we're exposing what people like. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dude's like really sensitive about his Starbucks order. We've just exposed it. Uh, what is a pink drink? If you want to feel really manly, you can call it a pinkity drinkity. Pinkity yeah. drinkity? She's trying to troll you. It's a TikTok. I'm going to need to hear from you before I can send the order through. All right, pinkity drinkity. Uh, <laughs> the last year and a half, I come here almost every morning and say, good morning, Starbucks. Yeah. And it pisses the employees off. Yeah, they don't understand the they joke. Don't, they I don't, don't understand the joke. <laughs> One time we went, we came here and then the, and then he goes, good morning, human. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, unprompted. I've been trolling this Starbucks for a long time. They've started trolling me back uh -huh. and they're, they're winning. Should I ask him like, we're we gonna do walk out of the car. No, 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 Jeff, no. no. <laughs> you know, balls. He had a whole family. <laughs> Hello. All right, you can have the muffin. John, we can split the croissant. All right, I'll have the pinkity drinkity. Have the pinkity drinkity. John, you can have the other one. Let me try the pinkity drinkity. I can't tell if it's good or not. It's like a re it's like a strawberry refresher, but it's thick. I like my strawberries refreshers thin. Let's see if the order was a thumbs up or a thumbs well, down. Let me yeah. try that croissant. This ain't no ordinary croissant, y'all. It's a chocolate croissant. Imagine putting this much sugar into your body. Dude, my yeah. I mean, it's good. It's just it doesn't have the texture of a great croissant. Are you sad that they didn't order it? You're a cobra. <laughs> For years, I have been doing food challenges, and I sneak in a coffee. Today, I didn't do that because I assumed the good people of my town would order coffee for breakfast and not pinkity drinkities. You're waking up and drinking sugar. Like, this is a family I wouldn't want to go on a family holiday with. I just like how you go, bad Starbucks order, horrible family to go on vacation <laughs> with. Like, the correlation is like... Where are we going for actual breakfast, though? What are you feeling, James? Let's do the breakfast cafe. I have whatever the person in front of me got. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you feel about this, James? About this order? No, the, the owner. I don't know, I don't know. You know him? No, I don't know him, but he's Asian. Probably pretty cool. Do you feel a certain type of way that an Asian Like, is he took... culturally appropriating no, white people he breakfast? Took, he, he took over your guys and, and is making... He's killing it. Well, good for him. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Proud of him, I guess. Huh? Breakfast is like a world thing. Who owns breakfast? Then? Well, where, where's the well, breakfast? Well, he he owns the breakfast. <laughs> a couple months back, I was in San Diego with an Asian friend of mine, and we went to a similar breakfast spot, also owned by an Asian man. And quite frankly, I had a great time there. That was me. I was the Asian guy. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for me to offer my critiques of this order. <laughs> It's okay, I'll live. That looks really good, James. That is pretty good. I should have ordered multiple, I'm sorry. James brings me on a food video. Fucking realizes there's only one fucking order. He gets his own coffee, and he's fucking eating. And halfway through the meal when he's already done, I should have ordered. Oh my god, he's dripping over everything. I can't even try anything anymore. Hey Jeff, you want a piece of bread? I'll try the bread. It made good bread here. Mm. You said long before you did it. This is James. Mm. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about this order? I'm gonna give it a B minus. Oh, actually, oh. you haven't you haven't tried the coffee yet. I haven't. It's, it's coffee. All right, John. What are you feeling for lunch, bro? You know, maybe we should do sushi, cause like sushi can get a little bit weird. Uh, Jeff will be joining us there. Jeff said he didn't like my white interior anymore. He's being a little racist. But also, I mean, he's not used to, cause you guys gotta understand, when me and John turn the camera off, we, we sit in silence and stare forward. Super safe. Autopilot, let me go on the phone. <laughs> can I get whatever the person before me got? All right, can I get six orders of the albacore belly then? I can't complain, albacore belly is delicious, but I do like a little variety, you know, when I come for sushi. So I think to, to mix this up, next time the waiter comes by, we'll just have the chef, like, the weirdest thing on the menu. Yeah. Orphan feet. Orphan feet. <laughs> I've only tried uh, non-orphaned feet. 
<laughs> Wait, no, I haven't tried any feet. Yeah. Scratch that. No, no you no, tried to no, set you me had, up. You had Bro, Satan's toe. I did have Satan's toe. Oh! Oh, no! Bro, it's like Satan gave him my mouth. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Chicken thighs are... Part of the leg. Yeah, part yeah, of the leg, I've so that's that. kind of a foot. Frog legs? Yeah, frog legs. yeah, frog legs is pretty good too. Frog legs? I might have had frog legs, you had, yeah. You had yeah. donkey ass at one time. Can I also just get like one of like the weirdest, whatever you think the most obscure thing that most people probably haven't tried is? Alright, our first dish here, let's try this. This is so, so good. How's George James? Got some ginger while I wait for my Alba Corbelli. Dude, I'm kind of jealous, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, the weird sushi. Uh, the weird thing we asked for came in before the Alba Corbelli. I don't know what this is. Oh, what the? Oh, it's like dog food. What is this? <laughs> This would go great with like a, a rice cracker. I don't really like eating it by itself. It kind of looks and tastes. It looks like dog food. It's so weird, bro. When you went into it and grabbed it, I'm like, dude, they definitely just scraped through whatever was at the bottom of the sink and put it. <laughs> at least they probably have clean sinks here. This belly once belonged to an albacore, and now it belongs in my belly. Mm. Mm. This is the meal of a woman who wears kimchi pants. Dude, speeding through his whole meal already. Like, I know, I'm a fast eater. Yeah, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it. John, what are you feeling for dinner, bro? We've been doing sit-downs, and I think we should do maybe a drive through What you thinking? A little in and out never hurt nobody. Oh! Let's go! I think what I've learned today is when you copy a drive through order, uh -huh. you don't know what you're going to get. People are safe in the privacy of their car. They're not afraid True. to get a little pinkity-drinkity. But yeah. when they're in the restaurants, yeah, they play it safe. Dude, what if someone gets the Flying Dutchman? I think it's just two patties and two slices of cheese. Wait, that's it? It's, and it's cooked in mustard, right? That's the thing. I'm a big mustard guy, but I don't know if I like my patties cooked in that she. You do like your workers yellow. Okay, bro, that... <laughs> <laughs> Yo! All right, we've got a big mom car in front of us. Might be having a family order, but we're in a college town right now. We are in the land of Ukla. Now, I did grow up a USC fan. Do not ruin your life. But you could brew your life. What? As in like beer? John, the only thing flatter than your jokes is Kyrie's theory about the earth. Wait, it's round? <laughs> Can, I get for you? Can I get whatever they got? Looks like she has a cheeseburger with onion and a fry and coke to go. Do you, you want anything else with that? Uh, we'll get two of those. Thank you. you. I'm disappointed. Cheeseburger with just onion? She's a mom driving the most basic mom car, getting the most basic mom order. This woman lives her life so far away from the edge. Just the safe. edge is not within view distance of this woman's order. She's a psycho. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little afraid to be within 15 feet of her car because she might come out with like a scythe and just decapitate. All right, John, we can't end the video on this note. We gotta go for drinks after this. In and out, acquired. This person may have gotten the most basic order of all time, but they did order a nice ice cold Coca-Cola. It's very good. So the burger, onion, tomato, uh, it's literally the most plain boring burger we've ever seen. It is good. This is good, but it's like the worst version of In-N-Out I've ever had. <laughs> At least it wasn't like sugar fish. Yeah, I mean. It's a full, it's a full I'm meal. getting a full meal. Uh -huh. Everyone listening, watching, the food authoritarian is speaking. The reason why this is the worst In-N-Out order of all time mm -hmm. is because now I'm craving an actual In-N-Out. Like mm -hmm. I want to go back to In-N-Out and get a real sandwich from In-N-Out. We can't do that today, buddy. You can do that tomorrow. Mm -mm. YouTube titles be like, Going to In-N-Out, letting strangers order for me until they order something decent. Attempt number 602. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try the fries. Yeah, you can't really do much with yeah, fries. Yeah, you can't do much with fries. What? Whoa! Is there anything you don't like? No, it's up to you, man. Pour it, and then fries. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, the architect. The architect. Can you make that, too? You want to do the same thing? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's uh, let's see how this is. I'm not normally an IPA guy. For those of you who are under 21, IPAs are like usually super, super bitter. Good thing I like it bitter. Cheers, brother. It's a little bit smooth. It is very smooth. Dude, I almost drank half of it already. <laughs> you know what always makes me happy? What? Ice cream. One of my favorite desserts that my family grew up with. I've had to eat monkfish liver today, so I've had a rough going. You definitely need a nice dessert. Strawberry banana sorbet, and then I'd like some strawberries and bananas in it. Oh size. yeah, we double it up on the strawberries and bananas. What size? The big yeah, boys. Gotta have it, bro. <laughs> you know, boys, today, <laughs> I may have not eaten like a king, but I have been treated like one by Jen. 
Judith? Ju Judith. Mmm. <laughs> Bro, she's putting me on to something. What is it? Strawberry banana sorbet. Uh huh. With strawberries and bananas. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Back off. That's actually pretty good. You want to try, John? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, Put your that. spoon in my cream. Hey, yo. Oh, wow. Why is it refreshing? The sorbet is low key better than ice cream. You didn't hear it from here. Hey, yo. I don't want any morsel of this ice cream to go uneaten. Outro? Hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done food gasming over this ice cream. My shit is different, bro. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see us creating the ultimate fast food chicken sandwich, click up here. We got a fire remix in it. Don't want to miss it. Peace.